Hello Minecrafters and welcome back. Um, you're with me, Steve-O, and I'm going to show you um, something I've been working on. Now this is a redstone project that I'm working on. This is probably the largest redstone creation I've ever made. And I've basically made it up as I went. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of it here. It goes back for a while. I had to change the view distance so I wouldn't lag for the video. Now, essentially what it will do, oh, I'll just show you that again, that back section there, it's all memory, there's um, codes for 24 characters. So what this is, is a, um, a scrolling text marque. Now, how that works, what that means is, I can press buttons here to select letters, store the individual letters, and then eventually display a message. I'm currently working on the memory side of things and the timing, but the timing is not really that far off and I'll have a replay section so I'll be able to have whatever's coming through here um, keep going around and around and around which will be pretty cool and I can clear memory here so what I've got here this is my nine button um, selection this is, oh, by the way I'm, I'm on the, ser my, the server that I'm on at the moment I'm a moderator on, a, on the Valkyrie server and um, and so currently I'm on there, this is where I'm making my project and um, and I've got a lot of <laughs> friends trolling me so if, if there's delay issues on the on here it's probably one of them so anyway um, what you see here is a nine button display now this nine button nine button display, nine button interface now the interface um, codes for each letter of the alphabet number one as you see here for ABC two for DEF, so at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The middle row is, along, is described along the top, first row described down here, last row described down here. So that's last row, middle row, first row. And these are the, the letters and so forth. So for example, if I want A, I press the button. Um, it takes a second for the memory to, uh, for the um, thing to come through, or the memory and things like that. Because um, there's a lot of redstone involved in this. So there's my A. Now it will come through and it will disp it goes all the way around the display. Now there might be a delay here. I saw another letter come through delay, but that might have been just a piece of lag. Um, I'm not entirely sure. What just happened there? It just got all messed up. That's why this here. <laughs> I bet you anything that was one of the uh, the other moderators on the server just trolling me because they know I've been working on this for a while. And that one little spot probably messed up everything. I don't see any other ones that are out. Anyway, so that was A. If I wanted another letter, I could. If I wanted B, for example, I press the same button again for B. So the first button will code A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, etc. Um, and if I was to press the button four times, it resets the sele selection. I think I might get rid of that little bit at the front there, so it's like a. Um, anyway, it doesn't look like an eight that way. But that, that's all. That's that's minor. So A, B. Press it again for C. I don't think I pressed it. I did. Um, and then I pressed a fourth time to. Re Something's still off over there. I need to check on that ladder. That's fine. That's that's easy. Um, timing issues. So and I press it a fourth time to reset the selection. So if I press it again, it will give me A. Or I could just alternate, alternatively press this reset switch right here, which will reset the selection here. Now, for example, if I want now, if I want to store C, I press store. Now, so C is now stored in memory. The timing is messed up again. Um, it must be something over here. <laughs> I bet you, yeah. There we are. There's another one. Look, look at that. Another um, four tick delay set to one. I don't see any other ones, but I'll probably I'll probably see more as I go. Now, for the larger letters, such as you know things that need five letters, um, I'll show you number seven, which is the middle row at the very bottom. So it's a V, V, W, and X. They all each all three of them need a three tick, um, sorry, a five um, space. So there's my V. W should follow soon after, as you can see, they have a little bit more space, and <laughs> that one's doing a Mexican wave in the middle there. Now, anyway, how this works, oh, I'm showing you all the letters and stuff, which is cool, but I'll show you how it works. So you've got, 
here the outputs. I don't have all the timing set for all the memory just yet, so I can't show you a playback message, but I'll show you that eventually. That'll probably be... I'll use, probably use that for my intro video or something, have like, um, welcome to my tutorial or Steve or just something, whatever. Um, this is where all the, the nine outputs go, and then they they feed through into um, these sections here. Now this section, which I'm facing now, is my selection area, so it selects between whatever letter you choose. Now, after the letter has been selected, it goes into this bus here. The red lines are for the um, the parts of the letter, and then the yellow line is my command line. Now the command line is very important because I use that for, um, for example, if I had um, had to store a value um, and I hadn't stored the previous value, then it would reset that previous value unless I press store. Now earlier on, if you might you might remember I pressed um, store on something. I didn't actually store the letter C because I. I actually recently um, turned off the timing because I need to reset all the timing but as you notice all these are there's nothing set there's not nothing set in memory you would notice something set in memory if these um, torches any of these torches were on these, these are my RS nor latches and what happens here is these would these gates would go up and allow for the signal to come through and that's all a, a measure of timing also they have I have RS nor latches up here now this, so this command lines come through and and disabled that. So, but that that's all. You don't need to know much about that. That's just for uh, information's sake. But because I press store so quickly, um, that wasn't able to happen. So I press store, and it says stop the uh, the data before it could even get in here, because I didn't want to have to reset anything. Um, and this piston is is now down. Now what I'm going to eventually do is is have it so that. Um, when I have the timing all right, have a store button which is for each one and it has to be unplugged or undone every time this is down it will um, open up the slot for the next one to be able to go if that makes sense. So this is my pulse limiter oops I didn't mean to destroy that I'll put a black one there, who cares. Um, so now that it's open data can be stored because earlier on, whenever you press a button if the, that isn't down, this will reset this line here and set these back to their default state. Now, this reset line also um, resets these gates. These gates here are what um, tell the gates to go up and down. And those are controlled by RS nor latches, so it only happens once. So, anyway, um, that's just one co piece of code. And now, also, um, you might have seen like the five. Um, line long letters. This whole section here is one character. That's one part of a character, another part of a character, another part of a character, etc. And so this code's one character. That's why memory's so huge because it has to store um, 26 characters. 24, 26, I don't remember. 24, I think it was because it was um, multiples of 8. Yeah, it was 20, 24. And um, so what you see here is the blue line is memory. So um, when the data is stored, it comes into these RS null latches and changes the state of these. So the, the, for example, if this data was on, this torch would be on. And this piece of data would just be sitting there waiting for this gate to come up and down. Now what I'll do eventually when I have the timing and, and such, so this blue line here is to, to for playback playback. Um, and this character will be the last one that you'll see if you store, for example, all 24 characters. Um, because the last letter, the first letter ha that you store has to come out last. Otherwise, it will just, the whole word will be backwards. So, I could have alternatively put this at the very end of this, the memory, but, you know, it's easier this way, I think. It, um, yeah. Anyway, so you've got um, this is where the, the memory bus, which is this blue, represented by the blue lines, um, goes straight into the display, much like the initial pressing of the button goes into the display, and where it can be coded um, into the signal. So it comes down, and then I have these torches and these gates. So, anyway, another thing to note is this purple line is my reset line. 
and it resets all of my memory. So every time I, I want to reset memory, I press the purple one because it will reset all of these RS NOR latches and it will reset this line here for each of these. What the heck just happened? I think I rubber banded. Probably a, a lag issue. There's a lot of redstone here, so that would not surprise me in the slightest. Now you see here, this, um, the one I press reset, it'll allow this piston to go across really quickly. And when that does, it closes off the, um, the signal here. And that will, um, turn off those momentarily. And then when it's back on, it does exa pretty much exactly the same thing as resetting it. So that's, um, how I reset memory. But when the, if data is stored, for example, if I have, um, if I press store, which I normally would, and I will, um, disable the functionality for the reset button on, no, I won't, because that won't reset memory. Uh, it's, it's still a lot of things to, to figure out. I've, um, there's no schematic that I've used for this. This is all out of my head. So everything that you see is coded and whatever by my own imagination and my own understanding of redstone. I had no initial design and so this is all based on, I guess, my um, trial and error. And that, so there's a lot of lot of information. A lot of information can be stored and there's a lot of redstone. This has taken me a lot of time to do to this point. I'm getting rid of the grass eventually. What you see, why there's grass there um, is because I used welder to copy because I'm on the server, um, the bottom layer on top. I had to reverse it, obviously, so that the data, when it got to the end, could come up and, hitting the reverse way, come back this way. So the last digit of memory will be close to the machine. It will come back around and then back around. It, it just makes things a lot neater. So that's why the, the top layer is the opposite to the bottom layer, why it looks different. But it is exactly the same. It's just, yeah, 180. Anyway. But, yeah, that's the general idea. That's as, This is as far as memory goes. I still need to work on timing and things like that. But that's all... Um, that's not huge. That, that's The building was the biggest part. And storing data will, will be fairly simple. But this is the basic idea. And um, I hope it's given you some ideas. I've talked pretty generally about a lot of the things. It's hard to um, to go into a huge amount of detail without losing people. And showing people on the server is, is always interesting because I often lose them just um, in the first five minutes of showing them it. Because I have to admit, if I hadn't been here for every step of the construction and done every bit myself, um, I would have no idea. I did have help from a few friends, though. I had a few friends placing things for me and, and helping with a little bit of timing, but um, for the most part, this has been um, something I've, I've undertaken, and I haven't had any, um, yeah, no, yeah, no schematics or anything like that, so it, that would have been so much easier. I'd probably be done by now. I've been working on this for a couple of weeks, on and off, I'm a full-time student, so I don't get a lot of time to work on it, and yeah, but I hope you can understand some of what you, what you see here. Anyway, that's that's it from me, um, f till I finish this at least. There's a lot of work to do left on this, and I'll, I'll probably upload, I've got the yellow there for the M, I'll probably upload a video when this is done, so you can see it in action, Because and I'll, I'll leave a link to that, so I'll leave a link for this when it's done. But and all, all don't don't worry about this stuff. This is my earlier attempts at a display. I had torches on the inside instead of um, repeaters, and so the the signal would come out from the outside. But it was too unpredictable, and, and because there was so much redstone, there was more delay. Whereas with just straight repeaters, there's less um, room for error, because um, you know how redstone can get buggy sometimes, especially when there's a lot of it. I, f I found that that happens to happens quite a lot, especially on a server. Jeez, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you when this is done. And yeah, catch you later.